What's going on? It's your boy Lando Success. I just received this email yesterday and I have a lot of thoughts. I have some problems and hopefully by the end of this video, I'll be able to get some answers because I'm going to ask you some questions and you'll probably be able to get some clarity. So let's start off first with this email. All right. Now, it was by Robin Hood and the email said the title was earn 3% on your cash. No cap. And I received a good old notification from one of my good old subscribers like, hey, Lando, um, they just changed some stuff. And I seen my old video I did on the 1% or 2%. The view started going up. So I'm like, it might have some um, truth to it. Earn 3% on your cash, no cap. Hi, Orlando. Huge news. You can now earn 3% interest on your uninvested cash. That's 23 times the national average savings rate. The highest rate is an exclusive Robinhood Gold perk. This is a soup of power tools designed to take your investment, your investing to the next level. And you can try it now for free, 30 days. Here's what you get with gold. Bigger instant deposits, margin investing at 5.75%, advanced market data, and professional research. So... I did a video, what was it, probably like a month or so ago. And I was like, man, I'm going to probably start investing in Robinhood to flip it. Because if you've been on my channel for years, I have been saying I abhor, I hate Robinhood because they don't know how to manage their money properly. So when everybody like, man, I'm buying Robinhood stock, I'm like, no, it's going to crash because every single thing as a professional fundamental company they don't have and I've been a thousand percent completely right about it but now I'm starting to pivot a little bit but um before I give my thoughts hit that like button go ahead beat it up for me hit that subscribe button make sure you subscribe because 88 percent of you guys that watch this not subscribe I don't make no damn sense but um what I'm about to do so the CEO of Robin Hood just did an interview with me Kevin and I want to show you some clips, some parts of it, talking about mainly what you need to know. And I'm going to give my thoughts at the end. So bear with me. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Nope. Right about here. Let's see. Or at Robinhood are announcing 3% yield on cash i mean this reminds me of like a few years ago where it was kind of like a race to see who could offer the highest yields and i i think right now you're like the only people offering three percent on on savings can you tell me a little bit more about this or cash sweep i think you call it i want to make sure i get the verbiage right i just passed my six series 65 so i gotta be careful with the verbiage <laughs> well, congratulations Please. um yeah i mean we we're we were talking about the fed just now right and obviously there's a huge influence on how the markets are, are trading and asset valuations. But the the one really positive thing is that interest rates are increasing. The federal funds rate goes up and that gives people an opportunity to earn more interest on their cash. And your typical bank is not paying you any interest on your cash. You, you look at the largest banks, they see this as an opportunity to improve their margins to generate more NIM or net interest income. Um, And we see that as an opportunity to take care of our customers. So even though they're looking at this and saying, well, the the stock market is highly uncertain and volatile, uh, what we can offer them is 3% interest, which as you mentioned is a very high rate. I'm not aware of anyone that's offering a similar rate right now. Um, and, And that's something that we're offering to our gold members with no cap. So even when they're not investing, they can generate 3% on their cash. And you mentioned the sweep. One thing that's, um, I think, really powerful about this is in a typical bank account, you get $250,000 of FDIC insurance, right? Um, But through the mechanism that we've built in Robinhood, we actually connect to a network of banks. And so we can sweep your cash to multiple banks. And that FDIC insurance multiplies per customer. So we're actually offering up to 1.5 million in FDIC insurance. So you not only get the high interest rate, but you also get added security and safety with the higher deposit limit. That's really interesting. It's almost like dividing to six different banks. So that is one section. And the next one I want to show you, and and then we'll get closer wrapping it up. 
is right about here. That if you were not a gold member at Robinhood, that's about sixty dollars a year, five dollars a month. Uh, you probably need to have about four thousand bucks sitting to to for like as your break even point there. So for anyone over that, I mean three percent. This is the easiest way to get three percent. Like put your money in, get the three percent. That's great. Uh, what what about folks under that? Like, how does your demographic yeah. split? You know, we've got metrics. I think the last metric we heard was something like the mean uh, account balance at Robinhood is like two hundred fifty dollars, but the median is like four thousand. Or I may have gotten those mixed, but either way, like, what yeah. do you think? Can seventy percent of people benefit from this at Robinhood, or everyone, or what's your take? Well, our our idea behind the gold offering is. If you're if you're a Robinhood customer and you don't have gold, you should get a competitive rate uh, on everything. So the 1.5 percent that you get as a non-gold customer is still some something like 11 times what the national average is. Um, and if you're if you're a gold customer, like we'll strive to get you the best rate available. And you know right now that's interest on uh, on cash, but gold offers other benefits as well. So that's all I wanted to show you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments about that part. Now, a few things. I wrote some notes. The first thing first is right now, nobody is technically doing this. Nobody's giving 3% because a lot of companies that try to do something like this is under. Hold or not. Hey, hold your money. We're going to give you this crazy percentage. Um... What's the other two companies? You have Voyager is under. You have Celsius. So all the companies companies that tried this high interest rate stuff didn't end up panning out for them, but none of them was a New York Stock Exchange company with money. So I'm like, okay, nobody's doing that. Next thing is I have noticed they've been consistently growing and making the right moves. I've been seeing the notifications. They emailed me a few days ago saying they're now trading USDC. They've been doing it. They've been getting the right crypto over there. So whoever is helping to run the company correctly is actually doing a great job. And if you were to invest, it's the perfect time to invest. But I will circle the block on that in a second. And last thing is, well, one of the last things I don't understand that 1.5 million FDIC insurance because can somebody break that down to me? Because he said, okay, the average bank is going to give you like 250,000 or whatever it is, but they tied themselves with multiple banks to be able to up it to 1.5. I have no idea. I never, I don't understand that. That don't really make any sense. So now what if this bank go under, do it lower down? I like, I don't understand that, but, you know, he's smarter than me, so whatever. Um, $4,000 to break even. Is that a bad thing? So I was just at Bank of America the other day, right? And a guy looked, pulled up my account. He was like, oh, my gosh, why are you not a one of these, like, type of members? Like, one of these members that could take to the next tier, right? So I look at it because you get the cash back when you use a debit card, which is good. But when I looked at the percentage – Going from the regular account I had, let's say I was making on uh, 1%, right? If you upgrade where you get $20,000 just sitting in your account, so you need $20,000 in your account, they give you an extra 0.05%. You can probably Google this and look it up because I read this like three days ago. So it will, it changed your percentage to 1.05% if you got $20,000 in your account for the last three months. Like, come on, dog. That's... So, yeah, nobody's doing that. So having $4,000 in your account to cover that gold membership and it covers other stuff, that's not bad. That's honestly good. Even if we're going to spend some of, some of you watching this is going to spend $60 today on something. I'm a thought. I already bet on the Arkansas and Tennessee Texas A&M game today. I put eighty nine dollars on that. So I already spent sixty dollars today and this morning. So it's like, come on. So I like it. So the next thing I did was because I have a plan to start investing in Robinhood at this point because it might be the perfect time. Now I'm I, not a hundred percent believer. And I'm not a financial advisor, but the way I'm more than likely going to do it, I'm not holding on this long. I'm going to double, triple, quadruple my money, whatever it is, 
and I'm going to sell and leave the position. I'm going to use them to make money. That's all I'm going to do. It's not a company that I'm going to invest in fully long term. It could change, but that's my mindset now. So first thing I did was I had to go to the money because they was terrible at managing money and doing things. I guess since they get all of these SEC regulations, you have to do so much right, you know. So let's see. Their total net revenues. This is the last quarter um, earnings. Total net um, revenue increased six percent. Thirteen point. I mean, not thirteen. Three hundred and eighteen million. And it's like transactional transaction based revenues decrease seven percent. Options decrease eleven percent. Cryptocurrency increase seven percent. Equities decrease. And the main numbers you want to look, all right, their net loss of $295 million compared with a net loss of $392 million. So you really want to look at that. Next thing you want to look at their operating expenses, how much it costs you to operate this business. Decrease 12%. So to operate the company, it decreased to $610 million. So it costs $610 million to operate that. Um, company decrease to five percent so you really need a lot of money in the bank when you have that type of big money to operate which includes 17 million reconstruction but the number that you really want to look at is right here cash and cash equivalents total six billion dollars at june 30th 2022 compared with 6.2 at march 31st this is crazy they have Basically, six billion dollars worth of cash. Oh my God! They took my job. That's a lot of damn money. So now you get so many options to do so many things because money really don't matter. So you can start bringing the quality and bringing the cool investing to it. So man, that's that's sexy. That is very, 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 very sexy because I didn't know they was doing it like that. So last thing is I want to show you guys their stocks. Why is it not popping up? There we go. Got it over here. All right. So at the time of recording this, Robinhood is at under $10, $9.44. If you look at the last year, their high was, what, $44? We had to say $46. We're down four times that. If you look, the last two years, the high was 50, 55. So this is crazy because since the company started, all you have done was lost money, lost money, lost money, such as an investor. But the um, problem with the uh, opportunity I see now is how much lower can Robin Hood go i'm believing anything under ten dollars might be a good buy-in opportunity because with all the things that they are start starting to implement they can probably start becoming a profitable company for investors when you really look at it so that's what i'm looking the volume is low as hell <laughs> 10 million so i honestly think Robin Hood have a good opportunity here. So what I'm probably going to do is get me a throw a few grand in my Robin Hood account to see to become a gold member, enjoy the perks, buy mainly Robin Hood on Robin Hood, and you know, come up with a game plan. If you want to see my game plan, hear more about it or track my portfolio on rival hood remember everybody was doing it like two years ago that's like the big trend might be a good time to get back into it so let me know y'all thoughts if you want some free stocks free crypto and all that stuff with robin hood i do have a link in a bio people actually still sign up for that so i do get some free stuff on rival hood so sign up for that get you some free stocks get you some free crypto once again 88 percent of you guys watching this not subscribe hit that damn subscribe button Oh, it's going to be trouble, trouble.